Hi, welcome back to Cambridge Inside Out. I'm Judy Nathans. And I'm Robert Winters. For the, our uh, second the, segment. That's it. So um, another thing that was uh, happening last night, uh, yeah. it's actually not, not ordained just yet, but you know, this thing that's been sort of languishing, not languishing, but it's been getting batted, uh, batted back and forth for a while was this um, uh, pro uh, amendment to the tree protection ordinance that are updated. Amendments, weren't there many? Amendments, many amendments, yeah. yeah. And, and it's finally to the point now, we've got passed to a second reading second last reading. night as amended. And, right. um, and would be, it'll be in the queue for adoption, I believe, at the next council meeting. Okay, which is and, you know, there's, there's requirements for advertising. It may actually require 10 days, so it could even be oh, two weeks. Oh, so maybe not, two not weeks, sure. yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But anyway, it's- Oh, wait, it's that would coming. be the last meeting then of the, yeah. of the session. Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, so anyway, that's coming. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, you know, as opposed to having a, an outright tree moratorium, it, it, you know, tree cutting moratorium, uh, it kind of basically, in, you know, puts in provisions for and def definitions for what considered, yeah, what but considered significant they did, trees. They, yeah, but now it's six inches instead of eight. Right. Well, yes. I mean, they were really, there were some of the people who were working on this were just trying to make it apply to pretty much every blade of grass, you know. But, but you also have to get an arborist to certify that it, it should be taken down yeah, or I, not taken I, down, and that costs money. Yeah, I mean, I know there's no way it could have ever happened. But uh, my, in my view, anybody yeah. who's owned their property for 10 or more years yeah, should have, should have been right given in. a tremendous amount of flexibility to make I the decisions. Know. You know, this, uh, this, there is been a, there has been a trend toward more and more and more uh, local Approach municipal it, yeah. intrusion into how you manage your affairs on your own property. And I think that's not a good thing. I mean, I think but, you know uh, if a tree is dead. And especially if you're someone that knows trees and if you're also someone skilled enough to, that's maybe taken down trees before, but now you can't do that. You have to pay someone to do that or you have to get all this and it can cost a thousand dollars. Right. More, you know, but yeah, but sometimes you just you just make a quality decision about, uh, yeah. you know, I think we want we need to take this one down because yeah. the, the overall space will be better if we do that. Uh, and now it's almost like you have to sort of, you know, go well, to. But could you Mama do it Cambridge if nobody ask. notices? I hate to use this in that way. If a tree falls and no one hears it, uh, or as it, they say in basketball, yeah. no whistle, no foul. Right but I'm here. wondering, doesn't someone have to complain, like a neighbor or something, to say, "Hey, that tree was there and now"? Uh, well, you know, we are we are quickly becoming a city of busybodies. If you look uh, at C Click Fix, oh, I, I, it is hysterical the kind of things some people put in complaints about, it's where awful. you can just read between the lines and see, oh my god, oh, this neighbor doesn't like that neighbor. Okay, so you'll just, see oh. you'll see a string of complaints. You know, you know, sometimes I think some of the people <laughs> that live in this city don't go to other parts of the city. Don't know uh, they have their high values with their vegetarian this electric that no tv no this i know I'm, <laughs> i i know i'm getting on my high horse but and i'm and i'm not pretending that i am like uh kumbaya with everybody either but i just feel like we have so many different kinds of people when i hear community and i hear like these different voices it's only those voices that speak the loudest you know and um, yeah well i i uh, mean people may they love to throw the word community love to think of cambridge oh. as this sort of bastion the of community democracy. has spoken i know some of the in, counters said the community has spoken they did really you know i don't think the community has spoken i mean i, I have no qualms saying for example you know? the group that call, identifies itself as the black response does not speak for black uh, no. residents of cambridge no yes they, they, they are a, sure a small group of people I i'm know. not trying to dismiss their point of right. view but the thing is right. this it's a younger this, it's a younger demographic yeah. Yeah. There, there's a we have a tremendous uh, trend these days toward yeah. very small groups of people representing, or I should say, misrepresenting yeah. themselves well, as they have, being the community. Well, because they know? have all these outlets, they know how to use social media, they know how to get right. out tweets, they know how to do this. And I'm not saying what they say is is. I think it's great that people are are have these positions. I just feel like don't speak for everybody. I mean, and I'll say this last thing. I consider, I mean, I only watch the city council meetings because I do the show with you. I mean, I probably, you know, but the average intelligent person, I know a lot of them don't even know what's going on because they don't, they don't, it's not in their radar. And That's these are right, people yeah. that do vote probably. So I'm just saying, don't assume everyone knows that they're following every little issue. Right. So yeah. what you, what you have basically then are uh, groups of, you know, maybe as few as four or five people 
yeah. and a mailing list who yeah. basically put themselves they out can, there and they can get out a and they people. claim that yeah. I represent yeah. 700 people, whether they yeah. do or don't, or maybe they do in the sense that yeah. their mailing list goes, oh, is that what's going on? Okay, sure. You know, what yeah. we sometimes call and then they read and then, voters. and then they read the scripts, which we found yeah. out. Yeah. We have a lot I mean, of script writing. Which I mean, you can looks, see if you want to see the script, go to the communications. That's I'm right. You, the last exactly meeting, right. and you can see the whole script that these pub, a lot of these public safety people did on the heart proposal, word for word. I'm word sorry. for word, yeah, I know, and that's Get not out. democracy. What that is no. is just you know, that's just it's just like a smoking <laughs> gun, you know, or a, yeah. a hot so mic. I, a hot yeah, mic. <laughs> and 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 to whatever degree we uh, we are, we still promote uh, yeah. public participation, participation, yeah. Yeah. and remote participation via you know, Zoom. Yeah, um, I think with a yeah. big missing piece in all of this is a kind of a civic education that's yep. deeper than just this group of four people throwing a flyer at, at you and another group of four, four people throwing a different flyer at you with a different point of view and claiming to represent anything. You know, yeah, I, mean, I, I think, yeah, if you've lived here a long time, you kind of know when you just talk to regular people. You know that there is there is sort of some things that you can probably say that have some general yeah. truth in right. the city. Yeah. Um, but honestly, when you when you listen to the kind of rhetoric that sometimes yeah. goes on in the public you know, political sphere, it bears very little resemblance to the reality. I mean, it just thinking about worrying yeah. about. Honestly, one of the refreshing things last night yeah. at a city council meeting was people get concerned about their kids and access to after I know, school I was programs, say that. Was, whatever. I just love That's hearing the real from, Cambridge. from parents <laughs> with families that their kids go to school from different class. One person said that there was 175 people that signed their petition and it's all about the after school programs that are being either cut back in one school or maybe limited in capacity, maybe because of COVID, I don't know. But the point is, my daughter used them. Um, they're a valuable resource. It's not like the community school program, which is wonderful too, but that's like classes that you sign up for. You can't count on that for every day. You know, they don't operate on holidays, but the, so I'm hoping that, I guess there was a, a, a round table discussion on this or is that some other issue? I forget. Oh no, the round table uh, was about the money stuff. Never mind. Um, there will, you know, I, I think yeah. there will be an upcoming meeting about these issues. Okay. Yeah. yeah because it's uh, just, it affects so many people and it was yeah. so refreshing. I, I mean, I, yeah. my, personally, I, I don't know how well this happens as we head into summer and, we, and certainly yeah. in a municipal election year, I don't know how yeah. valid much of anything really is. Yeah. But I think it's time to, for the city to take a deep breath and take a nice objective look at the resources such as community schools, uh, after school programs. Well, after school program through DA, through human Yeah, they're, yeah, they're all talking about these K to edu ed education yeah. discussion, right. which is right. they only have a kind of a framework for some of this right now, and yeah. there's more to be done. Um, I would I would be pretty happy actually if uh, somehow the tenor of conversation in Cambridge moved maybe a little bit more towards these types of bread and oh, butter things that matter to people I know. rather than getting into some screamy memes about you know defunding the police or i don't i don't want to hear from any more harvard graduate students i'm sorry i'm being I'm, very but you know I'm, and maybe they'll be here for a few years but i don't care i want to hear from these families yeah i really you know yeah. i want to hear from people that yeah. really live I mean, here and maybe work here and these are issues that are important you know? When you when you really get down past all the ego and, and yeah. Cambridge isn't really all that different than a lot yeah. of other cities and towns yeah. or in yeah. this state or other states, you know, well, mom, mothers I, and fathers still care about resources for their I, but kids. I, but and, I have to say, Cambridge is unique in that we have Harvard, we have MIT, so we have really some bright people. We have sciences, we have la we have labs. And we have regular people, but we do have, it is many different kinds of people um, and many different interests and, and uh, you know. Yeah, but it's, we also have activism as sport, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. that's you know, true. It's not necessarily trying to actually accomplish no. anything. I know, but, we're not Russia, so that's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, so. Uh, all right. So that was refreshing and I'm hoping. Yeah. Well, actually one, one other thing is just yeah. sort of another part of Cambridge, which I find yeah. annoying and entertaining at the same yeah. time. So there were several, there were actually a couple of references on city council orders yesterday about um, this um, 
what are they called? The American Rescue Plan, I think is how it's being built. Yes, Basically there were two different water. policy orders about it, right? Yeah, so yeah. in the COVID world, the federal right. government is expending, allocating right. gigantic amounts of money. 65 million. Uh, and not just to be passed around like candy, no. but the thing is, you know, there are restrictions about what it's Certain used purposes, for. Right, which is interesting. Yeah, so I was reading a little bit about what it's supposed well, to be okay, used for. So so what, but for example, you can use it for infrastructure improvements like water and sewer things. Uh -huh. You could use it for broadband. It is true that right, and I don't I know that. what the, you know, what the limitations are on that, but to whatever degree people were mm -hmm. making the case that for municipal broadband, if it's too expensive, well, there may be a pool of money just falling like manna from heaven that may actually make it, you know, much well, more how viable. Does that, how does that affect the RFPs that went out? That RFP that went. Out? You know, it it just changes it changes the funding so that maybe things when you're making your decisions about what you think you want to proceed with or not proceed with, the existence of a sizable potentially sizable pool of money will affect those decisions, just like anybody else making a, a decision about what they can afford to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I mean, I was reading some degree i mean you know there was one city council order that said that you know i think some councilors wanted to be able to just pass out money to right, people no. who who've been it's severely not, impacted by covid and they say, can't do anti-aid amendment says you can't just do that right. you right. have to be creative in how you use you right know, um, right public monies right. uh to, right. to um, support individuals right. or businesses right and I think city of Cambridge has done a pretty good job in, in being creative to do that. But, mm -hmm. but you know, if you're an elected official, you like nothing more than to be able to give direct benefits to people because sure. they're going to love you to death. Right. So, um, so they see $65 million coming to Cambridge, sort of, you know, just extra. Uh, and they say, oh boy, and these may not have the same anti-aid amendment restrictions. So maybe we can just sort of but it has other restrictions. It. it has restrictions on certain kind of infrastructure. I think it does. And I think they did yeah. correctly call to have a round table discussion. But, but I know, but, not... right. But I know nationally, it's the same discussion going on in every city because we're not yes. the only city getting this. Yeah. And, and it's an issue that they have to deal with. Yeah. It, it is. And, and if there was a question, not a question, an observation made last night that, you know, the city already incurred a lot of costs in order exactly. to deal oh, with right. the crisis. So this so is actually what, just going to replenish those funds, right? Is just basically making up right. for what's already been right. spent. Right, so, it, is, so it, is, it isn't this straight out pay. So it's not necessarily yeah. a $65 million, right. oh boy, how can we spend this right. bonus, right? It's your Christmas so there, bonus. So there probably right. will be a round table on that. Yeah. No, the, I think there there will be. It's either going to be a roundtable to just, or to just get the nuts and bolts. Because some people said, I think it was on, you know, oh, we need to have the public in on this. No, not right now. You need to know what's yeah. possible, and then you can have the public in on it. Right? Yeah. yeah, you know, th there is a, you know, it's not Cambridge is not a poor city by any means, but the no. thing is, is that you are still obliged to, you know, when you think right. you you don't just sort of say hey, I got an idea, let's go yeah. do this. And then just yeah. pluck $20 million and do it just because yeah. you, know, you got a notion, right. right? So for example, when they were, there's been this sort of, it's going back and forth. It's really going on for far too long now, but um, up in the Alewife, people say, wouldn't it be great if we had a bridge over the tracks? Oh yeah, I read your thing great? about that. I know. Right. Some well, people said, well, maybe we it should be here. There was a plan 30 years ago yeah. or more, 40 years ago, so could, you know, yeah. for, for doing yeah. that, it never happened Let's back in a time it. when there right. was federal money available, yeah. like probably 90% yeah. of it would have been federally paid for. Why right? didn't it get done? A lot of things though, really just don't get done by the city that they could do. Well, you know, sometimes you go into a just, phase yeah. where uh, the anti-development people says, oh, you're just trying to like, you know, develop this area here. They no, start blocking I don't, it. I don't they, think that's it. I think some of it is just, maybe there's just too much on their plate too. I don't know. Yeah, right. But but you normally, if you can get something where you're only paying a dime on the dollar for so that, a that should have happened. project, that's something that should, you really should just sort of grab. That, that, that should have happened. Yeah, yeah. So um, is it possible? Could that happen? Um, I don't know. Um, you know, I was uh, yeah, yeah, if if uh, water and sewer projects are okay, I don't know whether bridges. Oh. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, maybe there'll be a subsequent thing of in in, a, in the yeah. infrastructure bill coming out of Washington one day, perhaps. Right, but that will actually translate on. into. Yeah. But, but if that translated into down the road, maybe uh, uh, you know, a year from now, it could very well be that there's a provision in federal funding that says that you know we're going to allow 
uh, if you can pay 25% of the cost, the federal government could pick up 75% of the cost cost of some infrastructure projects for bridges and things and yeah but that means it's five ten years away i don't know right and if it's a pedestrian bridge and pete Buttigieg is is the in charge of a division that might actually put you in a good i know but why but i thought the whole talk about the bridges now is because we can get the people that own the land are going to do it to do it well that was a proposal but then the city council oh that's right they shot they, they, down that, oh, they shot that, that zoning down. proposal and then they, oh, at the time some of the councils right. were saying well why don't we just pay for this all ourselves if I you think see. it's such a great okay. idea and they said well you know where's right. the money well, right well so, i hope it can I, come from that 65 million because otherwise yeah. the way you're saying it that's all well and good we're talking four or five years down the road that if, place is going to get developed way before that Right, but, right, but so as long as you reserve the space where you could well, do the projects, I, I just feel great. like we should just let the people and work it out with the people who are going to buy it. Honestly. Yeah, but if you if you can get a better project, uh, you know, a better outcome. Yeah, I know, but I just feel like the, the government moved very slowly. You know, they haven't even spent funds that were given in December for schools and stuff are still out there. So I don't I know, but, all we, that. but, I just but don't. All, all I'm saying is we may yeah. be in one of those yeah. parts of these well, that would be cycles good. where oh, federal yeah. funding for infrastructure projects, including pedestrian, bike, and maybe even shuttle bus bridges in sensible places, yeah. electric, transit uh, electric, oriented development, et cetera. Electric charging stations. Yeah, a lot of these things may actually be possible and yep. it would be a good idea for elected yep. officials and, administ and city administration yep. people to really be taking yep. a bigger view of this and saying, yep. okay, uh, let you even uh, uh, maybe have two tracks of planning that says well okay. based on getting nothing what should we be thinking exactly and based on the possibility that funding That's may right. be available what what would we what would be our wish list of things that i would hope quickly people on? are doing that now i, I hope would, so i would think you know, they're smart enough to be doing that now because yeah. this this part yeah. of the big wheel turn and may not last very long and right it would be uh, and i'm not a person who just says we should just spend because spending no, is fun. I, right Yep. I'm just saying is that is that it some kind of the funding sources may come around in cycles mm -hmm. and maybe COVID was a terrible reason to kind of loosen up funding sources, but yeah. it happened. And yeah. if the money becomes available and if you can actually use it to dovetail into some yeah. other oh, yeah. priorities that people have been thinking about and do yeah. something really spectacular and that which have a great long term benefits, man, I'd really love to see some of that happen, you know, so. Anyway, okay. so it could it could see. I, yeah. And again, I I don't know that the, the sixty five million dollar from the American Rescue Plan is kind mm -hmm. of what makes any of this happen. But right. I think it's an interesting conversation yeah, that they need uh, maybe, to have, and we'll see what happens. You know, and honestly, you know, I I would rather have the political rhetoric shift a little bit from some of the nonsense that we've been focusing on for this past mm -hmm. year. And right. I'm and I'm not including COVID as nonsensical. That oh, was no. absolutely essential. Yeah. 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 You know, and every person in city government elected and otherwise who bore the great burden yes. of getting through this deserves yes. to medal. Absolutely. That includes the city manager, it includes right. the mayor, mm -hmm. it includes our public health people. You know, mm -hmm. I want to I want to give them all medals for getting this through. Oh, unbelievable. You know, uh, it was last but, night. But, but yeah. let's but but I but yeah. but if if in by the time we roll around to 2022, if we're still just talking trash, yeah, uh, you know, about uh, you know, think national issues just being played out like a like theater here. I'm going to be very unhappy. I mean, no, I think you, you should be a resident be and you should be maybe even a voter or you can be young. I'm just saying you need to have a connection to this community. I'm sorry. I just yeah. I'm tired of it. No, yeah, um, it's just a kind of silly. Yeah. You know that last night, I think, was the first time they didn't do a COVID update. They've actually shifted it now. So it's doing, every right. other meeting. Is, oh, it is every. Idea. Okay. All yeah. right. I, I didn't yeah. know that. Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, I mean, honestly, right now, I'm sure they're eager to have a COVID update because so much of it is actually Oh, next week, it'll and, be a big one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I think um, uh, Claude is, uh, Jacob yeah, he, is, is, he's leaving for a job in Texas, I believe. I don't know why he wants to go to Texas. Why? <laughs> they don't I don't know. Texas, but they'll have maybe, his job cut out for him. Yeah. Maybe he needs a break. By yeah. the way, another thing that was uh, there had been scheduled for this morning a government yeah, operations committee canceled, meeting. Though. Yeah, what happened I mean, to that? Well, it, you know, <laughs> some other place made a big deal about its cancellation. What the hell is going on here? Whatever. I said, yeah. you know, that's not going away. 
So it, it, it's been rescheduled for two weeks. From to today. discuss the city manager. They, it's phrased as the hiring or? of the next city right. manager. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, my view is that I have no idea what Louis de Pasquale wants. Wait, but honestly, isn't, he his, earned his isn't, strikes. His, isn't his term up in January? His contract will, right, that's right. So that's why this is required. And then, and then, it's under understandably, the we only got six months. Right. I mean, if it, if it was me, honestly, I would say, would you be willing to stick around for another year or two? But there, oh, I don't think no, this they, council they already has did any that. interest in that. And they already know, but, ended his contract. No, they didn't end it. It's, they they didn't have a contract. It? Contracts oh. all have terminal dates. But okay, the thing but is, I, is I that there was an extension previously to this one. There was an extension and okay. there could so be another one. Yeah, you know? I see what you're saying. Okay. Uh, you know, and and, and it'll be yeah. interesting to sort of see. That's not going to happen. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen either. Yeah. But you know, but you know, if I, if I would put all the options on the table, I would certainly put that up as an option on the okay. table. Right. Is to is to is to do a, an extension, you know, uh, and on and honestly, just just how we navigated our way through the whole COVID period, I think, is pretty good evidence that why it's it's not a crazy idea to to do that. So, so speaking of elections and so, well, government. So a week from today is the is the primary in New York, which you were interested in. Is it the twenty second? That's right. Yeah. 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 We and that's proving to be very interesting and and it's ranked choice voting and of course you know i'm sort of like the ranked I choice know. voting guy yeah. around the town i guess yeah but yeah. um there and it's this country every day if you read yeah. the papers oh my another god controversy. where do you live and also uh what do you know about somebody said oh well what do you think it costs to live in brooklyn this is some of the can oh i think you can get something for like a hundred thousand or and it's actually nine hundred thousand like what do these people know i mean some of these they're jokes. Yeah, I mean, some of it's pretty really? ridiculous. But there's one thing I read uh, today, which I found very yeah. interesting, is that yeah. uh, Democratic, because this is really the Democratic it's Party Democratic primary pro for right. mayor. There'll be other candidates and there'll be a general election, but it's generally uh -huh. agreed that the winner of this will probably be the mayor. Though not necessarily, oh, after not all, necessarily, we've had Republican yeah. mayors in, in right. New York, just That's like we've true. had uh, Republican governors in yeah. Massachusetts. Michael Bloomberg. Now, it could happen. Yeah. And I, you know, and I, you know, I come from New York, and I, I know that there is a. Um, if anybody thinks New York City is one hundred percent radical, Ooh, uh, yeah, left, they they don't know New York at all. No. And that crosses all sorts of you racial. You got the boroughs there. Yeah, right. Lines. You got, yeah. Not everything. Yeah, geographic, right. demographic. Yeah. Believe me, it's not so easy to predict. No. And people are are viewing the upcoming New York um, mayoral primary as sort of a bellwether. Hmm. of what the Democratic Party should be thinking about in terms wow. of the 2022 elections. In other words, there's one of the, the candidates who I think is currently uh, polling better than the others. Yeah, which one is I forgot it? The person, I forgot the person's name. I have it somewhere, but I just- Is it, it's, is it not Ma it. Maya somebody, is it? No. Wiley is basically at the the one who's like like oh, really? the, the ultra left is like polling like dead was polling dead oh. last in the polls. Okay. So All right. That may have changed somewhat with the so Alexandria so who, Ocasio Cortez endorsement, uh, endorsement or something. But so who but is, if people uh, think that 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 necessarily yeah. sells big in New York, I don't think yeah. they know New York very well. Yeah. There's the person who's I who think was more of a kind of a yeah. um, a tough on crime guy actually was polling yeah. better than the, the others. And who is that? Oh, you yeah, don't know, forget, but it's a right male. Now. Is he a yes, person of yes, color or yeah, is he white? Yes. White male yeah. or what? I think a person of color. Oh, okay. Right. But but anyway, don't don't quote me on that. I, I'm but not. The I point, the point yeah. I'm trying to make here is it'll be yeah. interesting to see yeah. how it works, especially in conjunction with ranked choice voting. Yeah. To see because because the thing is, people will be able to make the case yeah. that whoever emerges as the winner uh, can be viewed as a more of a consensus winner. Absolutely. Rather than somebody who just right. managed to squeak by by being different than the others. I agree. I think and, it's great. I if, think it's great. And, that and what happens if, in fact, the person is 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 clearly more in the moderate edge of, edge of the spectrum yeah. as, as yeah. opposed to the very far left? Yeah. Uh, or, or maybe it goes the far left. I don't know. Yeah. But but I think a lot of people around the country and yeah. Democratic Party circles are looking yeah. at this yeah, it's important. contest to say, well. 
you know, we've got a lot of rhetoric's been thrown around over this past year, whether it's, yeah. you know, defund the police, fight okay. crime, ease yeah. up on crime, prosecute, don't yeah. prosecute people. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, this is one of those places where the people in the city will actually get so, to kind of express themselves. So how come they can do the ranked choice? Was that a ballot question or is it a city uh, mandate? How come you know they what? got to do that? Um, you know, I don't actually know. And I should know. This, I, I, I cannot believe that we voted that down. I mean, it was close, wasn't it? Uh, not, it's not as close. It was close, but not 55, so close. 45, 45, yeah. oh. Something I in just, that range, that, yeah. It's a no-brainer to me. It just makes so much more sense. It's more right. competitive. It's more Right, so, so, yeah. so if in fact the, mm. the New York mayoral election uh, produces an outcome that people go, hey, that makes sense. Well, hopefully, then yeah. That becomes a good selling point for yeah. ranked choice voting yeah. in other places, yeah. you know? So um, I'm just sort of from, you know, Oftentimes, election methods are part of economics. You find them under yeah. the topic called sure. social choice. Oh, so okay. I'm a little bit of an academic, I suppose, but no I, kidding. <laughs> I, I see, I see this as sort of an interesting test to sort of see how this social choice mechanism actually plays out. So um, I'm look, I'm watching the New York mayor election very closely. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, not like I'm not. Good. I'm not traveling to New York or anything like that. I'm yeah. just watching this because yeah. I think it's a very interesting uh, social choice mechanism that's playing itself out. Yeah, uh, you know, and um, and we'll see where we'll see where it goes. Okay. By the way, no new candidates uh, for Cambridge uh, to be known. You okay, know, good. You, you know, you'll 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 be hearing about uh, some campaign news from incumbents in the not too distant future. Uh, but um, people are starting to raise ridiculous amounts of money yeah, right now, that. and it's starting to take off. Um, okay. You know, we only have two weeks, in two weeks, essentially. They have to a couple of days them. is when yeah. that, well, you don't have to declare. But oh, no, you have to get the data. signatures. Yeah, right. You can okay. start, you yeah. can pull the campaign right. um, signature papers and, okay. and actually become, and at that point, we get kind of serious. So, okay. um, so anyway, so it's coming, and uh, so and I okay. and and I, so still no word on school committee candidates. All right, okay, all right. We got five seconds left, so we'll be here July sixth, I guess. Right. That's right. Three weeks okay. from now. Okay. Bye. See you then.